I just feel such a spirit of worship hovering. I I'll pull it right today. I'm canceling children's church. You can take the little ones, but leave me the teenagers. Amen. You can take the babies, but leave me the teenagers. Mm, amen. Glory to God. Turn the whole holy of holy. I'm sorry, first lady, I can't hear you. And the little ones stay? No, I'll take the little ones. Take the little ones. Leave me the teenagers. Amen. We're gonna deal with some stuff today. All right. All right. I enter to honor Jesus' mighty name we pray. 
Somebody shout amen. 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 Glory to God. You may be seated. I, I don't know why the Lord gave me this word. That's all right. And, you know, I want to preach something else to make people shout. I want to talk about, I don't know. I want to get folks all excited, you know. You know, when you're preaching and you let it go up like that, you know, and everybody's like, yeah. You know, I want to preach something cool today, but but this is the word that the Lord gave me. Amen. Amen. And so we're just going to talk, I'm just going to teach uh, about a healthy friendship. All right. As many of you may know, amen, in this life you will have very few, somebody say few. Few. You will have very few friendships. Amen. You will have Amen. very few real friends throughout Amen. your life. Amen. Amen. Uh, very few people will want to see you win, unfortunately. Uh, very few people want you to be successful. All right. You will have many people around you throughout the seasons in your life, mm -hmm. but only a few. You Come will on, stay Patrick. through it all. All right. Glory to God. You will have people all around you all the time. Amen. Amen. Uh, in school, I wasn't popular, but I knew everybody. Amen. Amen. <laughs> uh, I was a floater. I knew the jocks. I knew the weirdos. You know, I knew everybody. I floated around the school. And what I learned as soon as I jumped from elementary to middle school, the friends I had in elementary didn't talk to me in middle school. Right. And when I made the jump from middle school to high school, the friends I had in middle school didn't talk to me in high school, but I reconnected with folks from elementary. And then once I graduated high school, I didn't talk to hardly nobody. All and right. and amen. people are seasonal, amen. We think folks are our friends and we try to hold on to them. But I came to tell somebody today, most people in your life are only passing through. Come on, guys. Come Most on, people in your life are only passing through. Glory to God. Uh, these people could be blessings or these people could be lessons. Amen. Amen. But we love to talk about how people hurt us. God, they, won't, they weren't meant to stay. They did what they were assigned to do. Glory amen. to God. Hallelujah. Amen. I thought I'd get more Come amens on, there. Amen. David on, was God. assigned to Saul. Mm -hmm. Hallelujah. And Saul tried to kill David. Uh -huh. But David didn't complain about Saul trying to kill him. David still showed up and did what he was assigned to do. Right. Saul was a test in David's life. Some people are blessings and some people are lessons. Amen. Yeah. Glory yeah. to God. They did what they were assigned to do. Folks, I can't believe they did me like that. They did what they were assigned to do. Amen. Hallelujah. Glory to God. It's, it's tight, but it's right. Amen. Most people in your life you come in contact with are seasonal. God only puts them there for a little while. Amen. 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 They're just there for a little while. So this is why when you meet genuine people, you hold on to them. All right. All this right. is why when you meet genuine people, you hold on to them. Amen. Amen. Glory to God. You hold on to genuine people. You do not try to take advantage of them. All right. <laughs> All right. Come on, Pastor. Sometimes we get a little beside ourselves and we say, oh, they give it, so I'm gonna take. Mm -hmm. Don't don't try don't take advantage of genuine people. Love on them like they love on you. Amen. Appreciate them. Because understand everybody is not here to stay in your life. Amen. Amen. Don't take advantage of people that are genuine. You love them and be there for them like they are for you. Amen. Amen. I don't know who this is for, but stop using people. Mm. Got quiet there. Yeah. Yeah. I don't know who this is for, but stop using people. Somebody under the sound of my voice thinks that using people is the way to get ahead in life. I can get people to do what I want them to do. Mm. But really, you're not their friend. Amen. Amen. Some people are manipulative. Mm. Come on. Say it back. Know which strings to pull and which emotions to lean on to get uh, desired ends out of folks. Uh -huh. Amen. Stop using people. God will not bless you. Understand this. God will not bless you if you use and abuse people. Amen. You will always Amen. be conniving and coming up with schemes, trying to get stuff. You will not be blessed using people. You will always be in need. The Bible commands us to love our neighbor as we love ourselves. Yes. That's the word. That's the word. 
If you're only around somebody smiling in their face, you know how people get when they need something. <laughs> hey! You know how folks need when they need something. Hey, buddy, best friend. What's up, man? Sister, brother. You know how people get when they need something. If you're only in people's face smiling and being fake, <laughs> trying to get things from them, understand you will always be in lack. Amen. Understand that you will always be in lack. Some folks call this, I'm just playing the game. Mm -hmm. I'm just playing the game and they fail for it. You'll never have. Because God's going to get the last laugh. He sees everything. Amen. Glory to God. You think you're getting by, but God see you. Right. You ever notice people that, that scheme and connive? They ain't never got nothing past a couple days. Say it, Pastor. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I used to watch the inmates in when I worked for the department. I used to watch them scuttle around all the hustlers. And they got to scuttle all day long because they're doing stuff back, backhanded and underhanded. They never had anything. Uh -huh. Shady tactics, manipulation, mm -hmm. stealing, lying, just trying to get ahead. They never got anywhere. Amen. They never got anywhere. Some folks call this just playing the game. So in our text, Jonathan had all the reason to play the game with David. All right. Jonathan all right. is the son of the king. Mm -hmm. Jonathan is the heir apparent. Mm -hmm. He's next in line to be king. Right? Amen. Mm -hmm. The kingdom is his. Have you ever done dirt to somebody in order to take what's theirs? Amen. <laughs> It's tight, but it's right. Jonathan has reason to play the game with David. David is now a renowned war hero. He's a nobody, right? Where'd David come from? He's a renowned war hero, though. Slaying Goliath and going on missions for Saul. Giving, getting credit by the people in the city for slaying the tens of thousands. A renowned war hero. He's gaining influence. And popularity. The favor of God is upon David's life. And everybody can see it. Mm. King Saul knows that God's favor is on David. And Saul is extremely jealous. Yes, he is. I don't know if y'all ever been jealous before. Y'all ever been jealous? Yes. 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 <laughs> Saul is extremely jealous of David. So jealous that he wants to kill him in order to protect his throne. Mm. Some people will cause great harm out of jealousy. Amen. They'll talk about you. Oh, yeah. They'll try to attack you. You got to watch jealous yeah. people. Yeah. Amen. Glory to God. Somebody on the sound of my voice is the jealous person. Folks need to watch out for it. <laughs> all right all right so Saul wants to kill David in order to protect his throne but how many of you know that when God has something for you it's for you, it's for you. Amen. when God has declared something blessed mm -hmm. nothing in the earth can curse it Amen. Hallelujah. Glory to God. That's why we ought to be excited when trouble comes our way. Because I'm still blessed in the middle of it. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Glory to God. I don't need to get down on myself because God has to drive me blessed. Hallelujah. Thank Amen. You. I may not feel blessed right now, but I know that I'm blessed. No one can curse what God has declared blessed. So the first sign that you have a healthy friendship, watch this now. I want you to start evaluating people in your life. I don't know why I'm teaching this, but I want you to start uh, doing an inventory of people in your life. Uh, the first sign that you have a healthy friendship, your friend is willing to enter your situation with you. Amen. Amen. Your friend is willing to enter your situation with you. Amen. Amen. Glory to God. It's one thing for you to have a problem and your friend just looks at you and says, well, what you going to do? Right, right. That sounds bad, but what you going to do? It's a whole other thing for your friend to come to say, come what may, we end this together. Amen. It's a whole other thing for your friend to say, let's put our heads together and let's figure this thing out. It's your trouble now. 
And I say, we in this thing together. Let's put our heads together. Let's figure something out. I'm not going to allow you to face this thing all by yourself. Amen. Your problem is my problem, and my problem is your problem. When you hurt, I hurt, and when I hurt, you hurt. We in this thing together. The first sign that you got a friend is they're willing to enter your situation with you. I got your back. I'm not going to let you go down like this. We're going to figure something out. If I got to take from what's mine to give to you, All to right. make sure you make it, All I'm going right. to do it because we're friends. Amen. Amen. Friends. When you hurt, I hurt, amen uh, You gotta start looking around at folks that don't hurt when you hurt You gotta start looking around at folks that take their hands off when you need help You gotta start looking at folks that ain't never got your back Glory to God You really gotta start looking at them And it hurts because it could be family It hurts because it could be siblings It hurts because it could be cousins It hurts because it could be folks that say they say But you need to start evaluating people in this season, in your life Who will not enter into my situations with me Alright we need to pay attention to who will let us walk through dark valleys alone. Come on, Pastor. Amen. <laughs> Come on, Pastor. Glory to God. Your problem is my problem, and my problem is your problem. When you hurt, I hurt. Amen. We in this thing together. Some people will leave you when you need them the most. Yeah. Yes, they will. And if anybody had a reason to play the game as Jonathan, David has a problem. The king wants to kill David. Jonathan has a problem. All right. His daddy wants to kill his best friend. Right. They've got some issues, but Jonathan said, I'm not going to let you go out like that. Mm -hmm. Jonathan right. was willing to enter into David's situation with him because he was his friend for real. He said, I tell you what, David, I'll go feel my daddy out and we'll come up with this plan. We're going to figure out if he really means to hurt you. So I'm going to tell him at the feast you can't come because you got to go to a sacrifice back home for your clan. And if he gets angry, we know that he means to hurt you. But if he says it's fine, we know that you're not in any type of trouble. They came up with this plan together and Jonathan entered the situation. Situation. He sh it, uh, normally, because he's the heir apparent, David being out of the way would have been a good thing for him. But he chose his friend rather than his own selfish desires. Right. I feel All like right. I'm kicking up against All something right. through here. How many of us are willing to choose people over our own selfish desires? How many of us will lose and sacrifice so that somebody else can be in a good position? Amen. How many of us think about All other right. folks? Hallelujah, okay. instead of just ourselves. Right. I wonder how many of us would actually go without so somebody else could have and they wouldn't hear nothing about it. How many of us are not selfish? Amen. Amen. So Jonathan and David, they come up with this plan. Mm -hmm. And we're going to try to figure the king out and see where his head is at. All right. Glory to God. All right. Hallelujah. And I really want you to think about this because this could be a painful thing what we're talking about today. When you really start to see people for the first time. And I'm praying that God takes blinders off whoever this message is for. I don't know who this is for. I'm really praying that God takes the blinders off your eyes. Because sometimes we have blind spots for people that we really want to love. And we really can't see what they are. Amen. Glory to God. And so I really want you to think deeply and evaluate every person in your life. Every person that crosses your threshold. Every person that puts their feet under your table. Every person that calls your family. Every person that says they love you. I want you to... Evaluate these people. Glory to God. Amen. Amen. <laughs> the king wants to kill David. David is Jonathan's best friend. With David out the way, Jonathan could be king. This is a mess. This is where a lot of people mess up because it's a tough spot to be Jonathan. Yes, it is. It's a, it's a tough spot to be Jonathan. And this is where a lot of people mess up. We as people have a tendency to take the wrong side out of blind loyalty. All right. All we right. as people I got have a tendency I got Amen. to take the wrong side out of blind loyalty. Mm -hmm. People will side with family because they are family. But the whole time, the family could be wrong. Amen. Ain't no ties like family ties. Amen. 
Ain't no bonds like family bonds. Glory to God. A lot of people suffer from if my family don't like you, I don't like you. And a lot of people suffer from, well, if you come against my family, you come against me. Ignoring the fact that the family could be wrong, but out of blind loyalty, we'll side with family. Even Amen. though we're not doing what we're supposed to be doing. Amen. Glory to God. What I love about Jonathan, he did not blindly side with his father. He sided with the right side of right. When you, when you, when you blindly side with the wrong side, I've seen predators in families be protected while the victims are treated like the problem. I've seen mothers choose the man they with over their own child. I've seen some stuff that family does to each other out of blind loyalty. Church blind loyalty will be your downfall. Amen. In this season, you must side with what's right and let God judge between me and thee. Mm -hmm. I don't know about you, but I'm going to do what's right. Amen. Amen. I might make some people mad. That's all right. <laughs> I'm going to be that one at the cookout. No, no, no. Y'all tripping. We ain't finna do this. I might make some so-called friends mad. I might lose some opportunities. I might get kicked out the club. I might get kicked out the clique. I can't hang with the cool kids no more. But I'm going to do what's right. I'm going to be that one that's going to speak up and say, not today. That's all right. So many people will stand by and watch family do horrible things out of blind loyalty. You know, mama know what's best, and mama toxic. <laughs> you know, grandma filled with so much wisdom, and grandma hateful. I'm so glad Jonathan didn't suffer from blind loyalty. So many families would be in better positions if somebody had the spine to say no. Amen. If somebody had the backbone and said, we're not doing this. So many children have been hurt because nobody would speak up for them. All right. All right. And you know how their mama is. And the child is the, is, is the casualty. Mm -hmm. The child is the collateral damage. Mm -hmm. Now they grow up on drugs and crazy on their mind. We say, we don't know what's wrong with her. Y'all let the enemy get to them. Come on now. Amen. Come on now. It's, it's time out for this. It's, it's time out for this. Jonathan and David have a problem. Jonathan, being a true friend, entered into David's situation. Said, David, I'm not going to let you go out like that. Mm -hmm. He sided with what should have been viewed as a threat to him. Some people have too much ego. Some people have too much pride to do what's right. Oh, amen. Mm -hmm. Some folks are just cowards. Right. Too scared to rock the boat to do what's right. Mm -hmm. So they sit quietly in a corner and watch all types of foolishness happen. Come on now. A real friend will enter into your situation with you. They're not going to let just anything happen to you and not try to help you. Uh -huh. Amen. Better watch them folks and say, I don't know what you're going to do. Mm -hmm. Amen. And watch you struggle. Mm -hmm. You better watch them folks that let you go down. And wait for you to come back up before they be your friend again. You better watch them folks that are wishy-washy mm -hmm. on right. your side one second and doing something else the next second. You better watch them folks Amen. that act like they don't know how to treat you. You better keep your eyes on them. Come on, man. You better keep your eyes on them. Amen. Point number two. A true friend wants what's best for you. Uh -huh. A true friend Want what's best for you. Amen. Amen. Glory Amen. to God. And as I said earlier, Jonathan and David arrange a way to find out the true intentions of Saul. Uh -huh. Jonathan explains to Saul that David can't make the feast because he has to go home for the clan sacrifice. Mm -hmm. Saul gets angry with Jonathan because he knows the depth of their friendship. Amen. Uh -huh. Amen. Hallelujah. Yeah, he cussed Jonathan 12 ways from Sunday. He cussed him all out. Amen. Amen. <laughs> How many of us are willing to endure the wrath of family to do what's right? Amen. <laughs> Hallelujah. I'm that one. We ain't, we ain't finna do this. Amen. You can get mad at me. Don't invite me to the family reunion. I don't care because y'all wrong. And I'm not going to be a part of something that's wrong. Amen. Amen. <laughs> Amen. Pastor Tim. 
Especially in the black community, we let a lot of foolishness go down. Yes, I'm a total line here because I'm a respectful guy. But sometimes even elders have to be told you're wrong. Amen. Especially when something toxic, damaging, and just flat out wrong is about to go down. Somebody's got to be that one to say, no, you're wrong. You're opening, door. you're opening the door for the enemy because this move is not the right one. Amen. Amen. Tell it, Amen. The black community, we let a lot of stuff go. And it leads to very toxic and damaging situations. Yeah, yeah. And at the time the decision is made, you don't see the ramifications. It may take 10 to 15 years. Now you've got a real problem. And it's because somebody didn't speak up. Amen. Saul gets angry with Jonathan because Saul knows the depth of their friendship. And Jonathan knows that David cannot stay there any longer. Mm -hmm. So they arrange a signal to inform David that he has to leave. All right. <laughs> Glory to God. People of God, we must be careful when we counsel people that we do not tell them only what they want to hear. Be careful of simply trying to spare people's feelings. Come on now. That you Come do not tell now. them the truth. All right. The truth shall set you free. Amen. My flattering words will keep you bound. Amen. So if I'm a real friend, amen, Proverbs 27 and 6 teaches, wounds of a friend can be trusted. Amen. But an enemy multiplies kisses. Come on now. Don't, don't tell me just what I want to hear. I, I need the truth. I need to know if my hair is messed up. Don't you let me walk outside like this. All right. I need to know if I look fat in this outfit. Just, just tell me. I don't need to be looking crazy. I'm taking pictures for the gram and I look a mess because nobody told me. Uh, wounds of a friend can be trusted. Amen. You better have to tell your homegirl, God ain't going to give you another woman's husband, girl. You better chill. Come on, amen. Wounds of a friend. Wounds of a friend, you better stop cheating on your wife, God gonna get you. Wounds of a friend. Real friends tell friends the truth. Amen. I'm not trying to spare your feelings. I'm trying to save your soul. You can get mad at me. Amen. Amen. But I'm gonna tell you the truth. I'm not gonna lie to you so you can feel good. Amen. <laughs> Wounds of a friend can be trusted. But an enemy multiplies kisses. Beware of people that only tell you what you want to hear. Nose bulletin, they're manipulating you. Amen. <laughs> Glory to God. Appreciate those that love you enough to wound you with the truth. Amen. That Amen. takes maturity. Yes, it does. That takes growing up. Mm -hmm. When somebody tells you the truth and it hurts and you get mad, that takes maturity. Oh, Lord, but you're somebody in the room. <laughs> that when I tell you what the Bible says, glory to God, you don't get mad at me and try to cut me off. <laughs> Lord, we pray for maturity in the room. <laughs> when you ask me my advice and I tell you the truth. All right. <laughs> Y'all know me. If you don't want to know the truth, don't you ask me. Amen. Don't, just, just stay over there. Don't even bother. Because I'm going to tell you what the Bible says. Amen. And I'm gonna tell you what's right. Amen. And your feelings might get hurt. Amen. And I'm gonna go sit down and eat a chicken sandwich and not care. Amen. Because I told you what's right. Because I love you enough to tell you the truth. Amen. All right. Amen. Oh Lord, I pray that we mature enough that when we get the truth, that we do better. Appreciate people to tell you the truth. Amen. Real friends tell friends when they are wrong. Amen. Amen. Saul got mad at David, started cussing him out. Uh, Saul got mad at Jonathan, started cussing him out. And Jonathan pleads the case of David to his father. David has done nothing wrong. Why do you want to kill an innocent man? Mm -hmm. Real friends want what's best for you. Real friends are going to enter your situation with you. They want what's best for you. A real friend will fight for you. Yes, they will. They'll defend your name. All right. 
when you're not around. <laughs> but I, I ain't going there. I, I ain't going there. Mm -hmm. I ain't, I ain't going there. Go ahead, Tell it. Tell it. Tell it. Tell it. Tell it. All right, this was free. I didn't write this one down. Amen. Glory to God. <laughs> Real friends will defend you when you're not in the room. Amen. Real friends ain't gonna let nobody just talk about you. Amen. And they sit there and just let it go down. Amen. A real friend is gonna defend you and defend your name. Amen. And they're going to check people that try to drag you when you're not around. Amen. And then when y'all all together in the same room, they're going to say, that's the one right there. Mm -hmm. <laughs> they're going to show you your enemies. Glory to Amen. God. Hallelujah. Uh, I don't know about you, but I need some folks watching my back that will point out folks that don't mean me no good because you might fool me with the smile and the nice words, but I need somebody that can see that ain't them, that that's them right there. That's not the one. They're not your friend. They're not on your side. They was just talking about you to me five minutes ago, and now they being faking in your face. Amen. 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 Saul understood where Jonathan was coming from. You see, he seen him coming. He knew that him and David were friends, and Jonathan is pleading for David. That's why Saul cussed him out. He knew where his loyalties lie. All right. Glory to God. I close with this. I close with this. Many people are seasonal. Mm -hmm. Many people will not enter into your situation with you. Amen. Many people will not defend your name when you're not in the room. Amen. Many people will not tell you the truth. Amen. Glory to God. So somebody's saying, well, what do I do if I don't have any friends? I know somebody that sticks closer than a brother. Amen. 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 I, I know somebody that sacrificed everything for you. But when people don't love you, I know somebody that laid down his life for you. Yeah. But when people talk about you, I know somebody that's always available to yeah. you. Hallelujah. When folks don't understand you, I know somebody that sees intimately into you. Amen. Right. I know somebody that is willing to carry every burden that you have. Yeah. I know somebody that is willing to vindicate you. Hallelujah. For he is a man of war. I know somebody that can heal any sickness. Amen. Oh, yeah. I know somebody that will open doors that Man tried to shut on you. Oh, yeah. I know somebody that can Come bless on, you when everybody calls you cursed. Yes, I know sir. somebody that can change yes, your story when everybody yes, tried to write it for you. I know a man named Jesus uh, who can walk through any door before you to change atmospheres before you. Oh, so yes. when folks come against you, I know a man named Jesus that'll prepare a table in the presence of your enemies. I know y'all didn't like me. I know y'all used to talk about me, yes. but I brought my best friend with me. Uh, you right. ain't gonna do me a harm. Right. I can't do nothing to me because I'm protected by the blood of the Lamb. I know a man named Jesus. I know a man. That's the problem with some of us. We're taking the wrong friend. <laughs> well, we're taking the wrong friend. We think we're supposed to take friends to fight in the natural, but when I walk in rooms, I'm fighting in the spirit. Because so, I got my big brother Jesus with me, amen. And he has never lost the battle. He's never lost the battle. <laughs> I take my best friend with me everywhere. Amen. Everywhere I go, every room I walk in, amen. amen. <laughs> Glory amen. to God. And then I got another friend called the Holy Ghost. Amen. And he gives me all the tea, amen. amen. Glory amen. to God. The amen. Holy Ghost tells me stuff I shouldn't even know. All he right. starts to show all me right. hearts. Come on, and man. the minds. Glory oh, to God. Yeah. I'm tapping into something. Y'all yeah. taking the wrong friend into these places. I got the Holy Ghost. He gives me the tea on everybody. I look you in your face and he starts telling me stuff about you. I know what's in your heart. 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 Y'all got the wrong friends with you. You got the wrong friend. You taking the wrong people in the room. Hey, come go with me. No, I got the Holy Ghost. I'm good. I know what's happening in this room. Y'all taking the wrong friends with y'all. I'm rolling with the Holy Ghost. Amen. 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 Hallelujah. The Holy Spirit give me all the tea. Yes. Give me the lowdown on everybody. Amen. 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 I don't say too much because I ain't messy. Ain't wrong. But he give me the lowdown on everybody. Mm -hmm. Glory to God. Say it, <laughs> Hallelujah. Say it. Glory yeah. to God. I know who to avoid. Hey, hear me up through here. I know who to avoid. I know what to tell who. Because of the Holy Ghost. 
Amen. I know what to keep back. Glory to God. I know what to keep to myself. Because right. of the Holy Ghost, I know who I can trust. And I know who I got to watch. Because of the Holy Ghost, ain't no friend. Who ain't no friend? Jonathan was a good friend. But ain't no friend like Jesus. Amen. He won't let me dash my foot against the stone. Amen. <laughs> Oh, but you got to spend time with him. Yes, you do. Yes, you do. It's all right. We treat Jesus like the friend we only talk to when we need something. Amen. Amen. Jesus, that friend when my rent is due. Mm -hmm. Amen. Come over here. Jesus, that friend when I need to get by till, pay, till I get paid. Come on. Come on. Amen. Amen. Jesus, that friend I call when I need counsel. Yeah. <laughs> when I don't know what to do, I call Jesus. Amen. And some folks have not grasped how real he is. Some people feel silly talking to the silly. Amen. But I simply came to tell you, oh, he's real. He's real. He's so real. And it's nothing like it when you have an experience with him. It's nothing like when can't nobody else help you. Mm -hmm. Come on. And you look up. <laughs> and say, God, I ain't got nowhere else to turn. Oh, that's it. Mm. That's it. But the story don't mean there. It's nothing like when you look up and say, God, I got nowhere else to turn. Mm -hmm. And then the door opens. Mm. Uh -huh. Hallelujah. It's nothing like it. When couldn't nobody else fix it. Glory to God. But you had a talk with Jesus and all of a sudden mm -hmm. <laughs> it's fixed. <Amen. Yeah. laughs> Glory to God. Do I have a witness in the room? Has God ever done anything for you? Just give God some praise if he ever did something for you. Give him a shout if he's ever did something for you. Hallelujah. We thank you, Lord, for being a friend that sticks closer than a brother. Thank you, Lord. I've been in some situations I didn't know what to do. Yes, Lord. And I thought I had friends that just looked at me and said, I don't know what you're going to do. Call me when you figure it out. Come on now. Talk about it. I had people that said they had my back and then when push came to shove mm -hmm. they ran. Mm -hmm. yeah. But Jesus has never left me Amen. Amen. Come on, and he's never forsaken me. Yeah. One day you're going to need him. Yeah. I know y'all are young right now but one day you're going to need him. You're going to encounter some stuff that you can't fight in the natural. Yes, yes, yes. And it's going to take Jesus to save your mind. Yes, yes. Some of you are in warfare already. Yes, yes. You call on Jesus. Mm -hmm. He'll come see about you. Yes, he will. Amen. Yes, he will. The battles you don't want to tell nobody about. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Call on Jesus. Amen. It's in those moments you get intimate with him. Amen. It's in those moments you know that he's real. Amen. Hallelujah. Glory to God. So in this season of your life, watch people that don't enter into situations with you. Watch people that don't defend you when you're not in the room. 
Glory to God. Watch people that will fight with you. Here's the last one. This one's free. I don't trust people that talk too much. Come on, man. All right. That's good. All right. If you talk too much or you talk too fast, just know I don't trust you. Because I feel like you're trying to sell me something. Come on, okay. All right. <laughs> All right, I'm quit. Let me feel I'm over the building. <laughs> <laughs> the truth is the truth. Amen. David had a good friend. How many of us have good friends? If you got at least one, you're doing all right. Amen. Because very few people will be your friend for real. Amen. A lot of folks that act like they like you. Mm -hmm. But they don't have your best interest at heart. Amen. Father God, in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. We come to you now just to say thank you. Yes, Lord. We thank you for your word on today, oh God. Yes, Lord. Yes. Lord God, I pray that you start giving revelation now. Yes. Right now, Lord. Right now. Open eyes in the room to what you want us to see. In the name of Jesus. Whatever it is, oh God, whatever is not good for us, whatever doesn't mean us any good, show us. Show us, Lord. Reveal it to us, Father. Yes, Lord. Yes. We pray earnestly for revelation today, oh God. On this day. Show us who our friends are. Yes. Show us who really loves us. Yes. Show us who means us good. Yes. And show us who do not. Yes, Lord. Father God, I plead the blood of Jesus over every person under the sound of my voice. In the name of Jesus. Oh God, don't let any hurt, harm, or danger come upon them. Lord God, we understand that you are a man of war. Yes. You teach our fingers to fight and our hands to war, oh God. Yes, Lord. Father God, whoever is in warfare. Yes, Lord. Lord God, we're praying that you would enter the battle. Yes, Lord. Father God, we're praying today for a decisive victory in somebody's life. Yes. We understand you've never lost. A battle. There was never an enemy you could not conquer. Lord God, somebody needs you today. Father God sent angels to war on their behalf. Deliver somebody today, oh God, from a sticky situation. Deliver somebody, oh God, from confusion. Deliver somebody from hardship. Whatever they're going through, Lord, come by here today. Yes. We're trusting you to fix it. We're leaning on you to fix it. We're believing in you to fix it. Yes. Whatever it is. Remove it, Lord. In the name of Jesus. Increase our faith in the room. Yes. Put a fire deep down in our bellies. Yes. Yeah. A zeal for you, Father. Yes. That can never be extinguished. Yes. May we encounter you, Father God. Yes, Lord. Not just every now and then, but on a regular basis. Yes. Oh God, I'm praying for an encounter with you. Yes. For these your people. May you come and meet them where they are. Yes, yes. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Father God, we cover these young people. Yes. Oh God, we turn the warfare over to you. Yes, Lord Jesus, right now. Lord God, I'm praying for their minds. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord God, I pray that you cover their ear gates. And what they're hearing about themselves yes. does not manifest into reality. Yes. For faith comes by hearing and hearing by the word of God. God, I pray you cover their ears that they don't hear nothing negative about them. Yes. That it's like water rolling down the back of a duck, oh God. Father God, I pray you give them an identity today in this room. 
that you give them purpose today in this room. Yes. That you show them who they are today in this room. Yes. Yes, that they not get washed up in the crowd. Yes, Lord. But they stand out as the children of God you called them to be, oh God. Yes. Pass mantles now. Yes. Yes. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. In the mighty name of Jesus. Yes. May tongues of fire come and rest on their heads, oh God. Yes. Hallelujah, Jesus. Uh, tongues of fire come and rest on their heads, oh God. Yes. Hallelujah. Lord God, we pray that you would deliver them. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. <clears throat> from the enemy on their heels, oh God. Yes. Deliver them, oh God. Yes. Yes. From family traumas. Deliver them, oh God. Lord, yes. From generational curses. Deliver them, oh God. Deliver them, Lord. Break every chain. Break every fetter. Break every bond. In the mighty name of Jesus. Oh, we plead the blood. And we draw a bloodline around them now. We snatch back their destiny from the clutches of the enemy. We declare that they are blessed. And we seal their destiny in the Holy Ghost. In the mighty name of Jesus. We declare and decree that Satan must back up. For these are off limits. For there is work and a call on them in the kingdom of God. In the mighty name of Jesus. We war for their destiny now. In the name of Jesus. <laughs> we war for their destinies now, oh God. We war for their destinies now, oh God. The kingdom of heaven suffers violence, but the violent taken by force. We're praying for a remnant to come out of their loins in the mighty name of Jesus. Preserve this seed, Father God. Hear my voice today. Preserve them, Lord. I pray that you wipe the slate. Loose their ankles from their background. Yes, yes. Mm. Take the chain off their neck yes, Lord, of their history. Yes, Lord, yes, Lord. We're praying for a clean slate. They are not their family history. How about I'm writing a new story for them, declares the Lord. The enemy shall not have them. They shall not walk the path of their parents. They shall not walk the path of their family. Of his hand now. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Watch what I do with them, declares the Lord. Praise God. Praise God. <laughs> Can I not make good out of bad? <laughs> Glory to God. God said, I'm setting them free from the wrong influence. I'm setting them free from the devil having their ear. I'm setting them free from the influence of wickedness. We uproot every seed planted by the enemy. Hallelujah. We command their spirit to cough up every seed planted by the enemy. We praise you right now. In the mighty name of Jesus. In the mighty name of Jesus. In the mighty name of Jesus. Lord God, as we depart from this place, but never from your presence. Yes. Keep your loving arms all the way around us. Don't let no hurt, harm, and danger befall us. Glory to God. Lord God, we'll be careful. So careful. To give you all the praise. 
in the glory. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Give God some praise in this place.